Hey, I'm Stevie here with Poppin, and we're here down North Philly at the Salvation Army Red Shield Family Residence. And we're here checking out the services that they offer to youth and families experiencing homelessness. So let's go check it out. Hi, my name is Romeo, and I'm here with Michael O'Brien, the Youth Services Coordinator for the Red Shield. So what makes the uh, Red Shield so unique? Um, you know, what makes the Red Shield unique is that, um, well, one thing is we take in single dads with kids. Um, we're one of a few uh, emergency housing facilities in the city of Philadelphia that can accommodate single dads with kids. Um, and the other thing that makes us pretty unique is we're one of few emergency housing facilities that can also take in young boys over the age of 12 who are with their families. A lot of facilities have to separate the family uh, when there are boys above the age of 12. So we are very proud of that, that we can take in like whole intact families and help them stay whole and intact. Can you elaborate on what you said about separating youth boys over yeah. the age of 12? Yeah, so um, you know, I read Shield we are lucky enough to have individual rooms for every family. Um, there's a lot of facilities that service families that are experiencing homelessness that have dormitory style living. So you might have two or three families in a really large space um, with uh, bunk beds and you know dressers and some closet space, et cetera. Like they have space for their stuff, but there's a lot of uh, people in one space. So they can't have young boys, young girls, moms, and et cetera in the same space, a lot of regulations around that, and we just don't run into that here um, because everybody has their own room, luckily. Um, could you tell us about some concrete ways you help youth experiencing homelessness? Sure, so here we have what we call a youth services program um, where we work with specifically with children, uh, school-age children, 6 to 18. Um, from having a liaison go into the schools and provide academic and behavior support, um, from doing um, homework help and just doing enrichment programming. We do that all here. Getting to school can be a challenge. Having the mental space to deal with the workload at school while you're going through all this stuff is a challenge. Um, your mental and emotional health, taking care of that while you're experiencing the trauma of homelessness or dealing with any of the other uh, traumas that can come before the onset of homelessness, uh, you know, dealing with that world can be, uh, can be challenging. How can people be better allies to youth who are experiencing homelessness? I think just being informed. Um, we've been doing a lot of advocacy in the schools, so just having people understand what kind of experiencing homelessness looks like. Um, not to penalize kids who come in with the same clothes every day and don't have calculators or book bags to fr really figure out kind of what um, is happening in their lives and then be able to support them accurately. So we've been working um, with our local school district to kind of make sure that they're aware of what experiencing homelessness looks like for kids. Um, this is a mandala project, a little bit of muraling that we had our young people design. These are some of the designs that didn't end up getting put on the wall yet, but, um, and we put them up, yeah, and we're painting them, and these pictures here are actually from a photography class our kids just took last semester, and these white pieces of paper with some prompts on it are from a monologue class that they took. We try to use as much art as we can with our young people, like therapeutic arts, if you will. What makes you care about the issue of youth homelessness? I mean, it's always been an issue kind of near and dear to my heart. Uh, my family experienced homelessness when I was younger. Um, a couple of times even before my birth, but even after. Um, and, you know, my mom was actually homeless as a teen herself. She was also a teen mom. I'm the youngest of three boys. Um, and she's an incredible lady, has this incredible resilient story. I learned about these things as I was getting older in my teenage years and into my adulthood. And um, I just couldn't imagine someone that had that much love to give and helped so many other people in the world around me without ever asking for anything back, had been by herself on the streets for so long. Being homeless is not an identity, it's an experience people go through from losing their jobs, um, from you know being in the foster care system and not having anybody there to support you. It could happen to anybody um, and we should be able to support uh, families experiencing um, this type of situation. 
how do you think the city of Philadelphia could continue to end homelessness? Um, I think they can continue by providing funding to emergency housing services like the Red Shield. Um, I think there could be um, some more beds open. When you talk about like space, so when there is no space, do they go to like other homeless shelters? There are homeless shelters. That's a really good question. There are other shelters and other uh, emergency housing facilities outside of OSH that folks can go to and try as well. There aren't a ton, but there are some, yeah. But they get full, too. I mean, the whole system at large, whether it's just OSH or, you know, shelter outside of OSH, we're always mostly at capacity because there are a ton of families in need. And, you know, OSH and all these other providers are doing the best that they can. I mean, it is, a, it is an overcrowded system right now, and we do need more monetary support coming in for shelter services. Um, we've also, the city of Philadelphia has really been doing a really good job this year at counting unaccompanied youth, youth experiencing homelessness. So I'd like to see that continue to grow so we can get some real accurate figures to be able to provide funding. Because painted in my head, something's trying to stop me and I seem to get away every time i start to leave